Now that's a raid. Welcome back to the Trench Grenade channel. I am your host, the average Django Unchained enjoyer that your mom said that we have at home. Thanks for watching. Guys, today I'm gonna give you a block of instruction on how to conduct a raid in your favorite Minecraft server. So that way when your buddies on your Minecraft steal your favorite, uh, what's the emoji? Let's see. When they steal your favorite eyeball emoji from your Minecraft server, well, guess what? We're gonna go get it back. So today I'm gonna teach you how to conduct a freaking violent and effective raid in Minecraft. Before I tell you about how to do a raid, you already know what I'm gonna say. Like it, just do it. Like the freaking video, like it. You, if you like this content, like the video. Leave the eyeball emoji because I'm watching you on this raid and now you'll be watching me, okay? Leave your eyeball emoji down below. You guys don't know how much it helps every time you leave a like or comment. Patreon, you already know the deal. It's $5 a month, about a cup of coffee a month for you to sit, hopefully at work or wherever you're on the toilet or whatever you got going on right now, okay? I don't need to know. You don't gotta tell me, okay? Let me know, uh, yeah, Patreon, freaking just check it out, okay? If it interests you, if you want to be in the Discord server and stay up late and do all the things that the weirdos in the Discord server do uh, and find buddies to train with and a game with, consider becoming a member of the Patreon, Instagram, Instagram. It's where I lift the weights. It's where I move the iron. Even though it may not look it, I pretty much do six out of seven days a week. Right now I've been doing seven out of seven because I hate myself. Uh, I got it. That's not optimal for recovery, but guess what? I have no life, so that's what I'm going to do. So. Check out the Instagram, it'll be down below. All right guys, the, the drink for the video is a monster. You already know the freaking deal. Caffeine is key to freaking being successful. Uh, so cheers, go ahead and grab your monster, whatever you got going on. Mm. Trench, how do we know uh, that you even know how to do a raid? Good question. Okay, so I always have to, I'm gonna have to say this in every video, unfortunately. Because I, I want to make sure you guys are getting information or vet the people that you get information from. Don't just, uh, don't get lifting advice from a runner. Does that make sense? Don't get uh, infantry advice from a freaking, I'm not going to say it, but you already know the word I'm going to say. Okay? Don't get it from the P word. All right? Uh, you're going to get infantry advice from an infantry dude. So that's me, I guess. I don't know why. I don't know how this happened, but here I am in front of you. Uh, teaching you. So uh, my resume, 11 years in the army, senior non-commissioned officer, uh, active duty soldier, paratrooper, been a Bradley commander, been in a scout section, done, or not scouts, I've been a scout, okay, uh, in the 173rd, scout section is more of like your sniper stuff, never done that, uh, but yeah, that's who I am, vet the people that you get information from, holy cow, okay, now that's a raid, all right, I'm going to talk through it, but before I talk through it, I gotta give you the purpose. The purpose of a raid. The purpose of a raid is not to seize territory. The purpose of a raid is to seize your eyeball emoji. So remember how you left your eyeball freaking emoji down below? Well, the purpose of a raid is to get in hard and freaking violent and fast, hopefully at night or, or in hours of limited visibility or when they're just waking up or something like that. Get in there freaking fast, violent, aggressively. Get in there, take kill in minecraft none of this is legal advice boom in minecraft kill whatever you need to kill or take whatever you need to take and get the heck out of the objective today's objective is objective rain because rain versus monster i actually i like them both but it's just whatever but rain has more caffeine so if you take rain in conjunction with uh your pre-workout um then it tends to have bad lasting effects okay so where were we? We're back and we're back. Here we go. All right. So purpose, the purpose of a raid is to get in there, take what you need to take in Minecraft or uh, kill what you need to kill in Minecraft. The enemy um, Roblox type of whatever the little like villager guys are. That's what we're going to do. Okay. So that's what, that's what we're talking about. First thing is planning. We need to plan it. You're typically going to plan your raid in hours of limited visibility or at stand two. Now I got in a, in a debate about this. Stand two, typically a uh, paratrooper will tell you stand two is 
30 minutes before the sun comes up or 30 minutes after the sun goes down. It goes back to when we were fighting uh, the Comanche, okay? They would typically attack when the sun was in our eyes, okay? Or when the sun uh, was going down. Other purposes for stand two, uh, free workout, uh, wearing off. Other purposes for stand two are when your enemy is the weakest. So if you see your enemy doing a relief in place, a relief in place is like a set piece move piece. So they're taking soldiers out of an area and replacing them with fresh soldiers. That means the new soldiers are gonna be freaking jacked up because they're not gonna know the area. That is like an example of stand two. So typically you wanna conduct, now that's a raid. Typically you wanna conduct your raid in hours of limited visibility or uh, during stand two, okay? So planning, things you're gonna have to plan is your release point where your support by fire, where your assault, and where your security are gonna go, and if you have a sniper section, uh, where you want your sniper section to go, and are you gonna have uh, scout assets to be able to guide you in, or are you just gonna full send it, okay? So planning, how are we getting to the fight? Um, your planning is gonna be con conducted down here in your patrol base. If you want a patrol base class, let me know, okay? I'll be more than happy to give you a patrol base class. If you want it, just let me know down in the comments below if you decide you want a patrol base class. All this planning is gonna happen in the patrol base, okay? From the patrol base, you're gonna establish, you're gonna leave your patrol base, that means you're gonna completely break down your patrol base, okay? And you're gonna go to your freaking ORP. Your ORP is your objective rally point. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Your ORP is where you're gonna leave your ruck, you're gonna leave any unnecessary equipment, you're only gonna bring hand grenades, extra ammunition, water, maybe your wet weather top, okay? Maybe like a, a field stripped MRE in your cargo pocket because whenever you're patrolling and you pull out your freaking cheese spread and slam that bad, Larry. Jalapeno cheese spread, my dude. Yeah, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. So uh, that you're going to leave your heavy stuff in your RP and you're going to freaking dog on, grab your magazines, and that's what you're going to do. From the patrol base, you're not just going to walk straight to the RP. You're going to kind of do, what do you guys think you're going to do? A freaking dog leg. Correct, right? Uh, in this particular case, we're just gonna take the ORP. That's the hand and arm signal for ORP. We're gonna go ORP, like, rub, like you're rubbing the belly, right? ORP by force, because I don't have time to teach you right now how to in place an ORP properly. Like I said, if you guys want a dedicated video on how not to die spicy camping, right, if you will, on a patrol base and ORP class, let me know, I'll, be, uh, I'll teach it, I'll teach it to you. Hit the like button. Consider becoming a member of the Patreon. I'll help you if you help me. How about that? A little give and take. So I'll do an ORP class and a patrol base class if you want. By the way, all of this can be referenced in the Dog All Ranger Handbook. Shout out to all my Ranger battle buddies out there, freaking killing it. If you guys have ever, if you guys have ever trained, we'll do a we'll do a monster break here. If you guys have ever trained or been with Rangers uh, in the same class, like if you have Ranger Bat dudes that are in their class, holy cow, they are knowledgeable. Uh, for all my fellow paratrooper and mechanized dudes, pick their brain. Pick the Ranger Bat dude's brains. They're freaking knowledgeable, dude. Uh, put your ego aside, and if you're a Ranger Bat dude out there and you're watching this video, just know you guys, we freaking, we, I'm getting emotional because you guys are awesome, dude. Uh, we, look, we look up to you guys. I've been in several courses with Ranger dudes, and they are, uh, as I'm like going off on a story, I've been in a lot of courses with Ranger dudes, and they will typically, will, will, they'll be super humble, uh, you know, super humble dudes. But if you ask them, hey, how are you guys running your machine gun squads? <sighs> Dude, they got the freaking, they are there to freaking kill in Minecraft. They're there to freaking get after it. So I guess shout out to my Ranger Bat buddies. Uh, okay, where were we? Oh yeah, we're doing a monster break. And then we're gonna get from the ORP to the freaking release point. So that way oh, you can get you guys out of here. Mm. Now that's a raid. If you didn't hit the gym today, get get to the freaking gym. You crazy? All right, ORP. You're gonna leave your heavy stuff, and you, after the ORP, we're gonna leave everybody. Everyone's gonna be in the ORP. Your whole platoon, forty dudes, with mortar attachment, and hopefully maybe a sniper section attachment. They're all chilling in the ORP. You're gonna conduct a leader's recon. Prior to leaving the ORP, you have to give a gatwa where you're going. Others going with you. Time that you'll be gone, what to do if I don't return, and actions on freaking contact. Actions on contact means you become decisively engaged with the enemy in Minecraft. 
So you're going to Gawa. Gawa, the patrol leader, okay, whoever the patrol leader is, typically it's the platoon leader, is then going to go do a freaking recon. Okay, so I've already taught a portion of this for ambush. So if you know what order they're going to in place, put it in the comments down below. Uh, we'll, we'll wait. What order are they going to in place? Okay, correct or incorrect and study harder. Everyone should have their notebook with them, taking freaking notes, because there's going to be a test. All right. Leaving the ORP, they gave their gauntlet to the platoon sergeant. Platoon sergeant, your implied task in the ORP is to get these dudes camouflaged up. They should be camoing their battle buddy. Okay, they should be getting magazines. They should be doing chamber checks to make sure their freaking weapons are actually loaded. They should be linking in belts of ammo, uh, machine gun ammo. They should be, that's the platoon sergeant. That's your implied task. So if you want to get a freaking no-go, then fall asleep, platoon sergeant. My freaking peers, fall asleep back here at the freaking ORP. No, get them up, uh, get them ready, get them freaking camoed. While the patrol leader or platoon leader is going to go and do a leader's recon of the assault. The attentive assault line. He's not just going to walk straight to the assault line. He's going to clover leaf, boom, 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 until he finds where he wants to tentatively assault to in place his assault squad. They typically will have two assault squads, but we'll get there. Um, so he's going he's gonna to recon the assault line, tentative. He's going to mark it with something, or he's going to leave it in his GPS, something, right? That way he knows where the assault line is going to be. Then he's going to come back, clover leaf way back, and he's going to mark the freaking support by fire. Now, typically, the weapon squad leader and the assault squad leader, or at a minimum, the uh, point man, the alpha team leader of the assault squad, will go with him. That way they can mark out pre-planned fires, okay? So he can mark out where he wants his shift and lift spots to be. Now we're getting into machine gun theory a little bit. Um, all I want you guys to do is just let me know if something doesn't make sense, Trench, we need a video on this, okay? But he's gonna set TRPs. So for, for this particular case, we'll just make it simple. We'll say there's a building over here. This will be TRP one, target reference point one. And we're talking about the support by fire here. So this will be target reference point one, target reference point two, target reference point three. What that means is, when the patrol leader, because the PL is going to end up over here later on, when he's when the patrol leader says shift fire left to TRP two, weapon squad leader, I miss being a freaking weasel if you can't tell. Weapon squad leader is going to say confirm, or he's going to get him to all all his guns to shift fire left to TRP two. Hey, shift fire left, confirm to TRP two. That means they're all just going to shift from engaging to right here. Now they're going to engage to right here. That way it allows the assaulters to freaking move in and put some freaking warheads and foreheads, some canoes and some, yeah, you know, all, all the things in Minecraft, right? It's gonna allow the assaulters to get up in there and do what they need to do. Um, and the, all the support by fire later on is gonna do is just freaking soften them up like some ice cream left in a hot summer car, if you know what I'm talking about. Woo, okay, we're getting down a rabbit hole. Anyway, they're gonna recon the TRPs when he's at the support by fire, the patrol leader is gonna mark it somehow, okay? And then he's gonna emplace the security. The little triangles with the essence are your security. So he'll emplace his security squad. So he'll leave two little riflemen with a radio. And what does he have to give them before he leaves? What does he have to give them? A gawa, right. He has to give them a freaking gawa. So he gives them their gawa. He leaves them there. Two little high-speed dudes with their little rifle, preferably a rifleman and a saw gunner. Their responsibility is to make sure that no squirters leave the objective alive in Minecraft. Okay, so they're going to chill up here. Uh, they're also going to radio up what's going on on the objective. All right, then the patrol leader, after leaving the two security guys, is going to go back to the release point, and then from the release point, he's going to set in this security. Guess what? The, t preferably up here. I think you guys kind of get it by now, but the security, you want it, well, not really because we have pre-planned fire, so, but this will be good. That's probably why I drew it there, huh? Let's take a, let's take a break. Let's take a freaking break. How about that? Okay, so he places these two security, gives them up. Freaking got one and uh, lets them know, hey, when we come back, don't kill us because they're going to be coming back in a little bit, right? And then he goes back to the release point. Then he goes, hey, Platoon Dad, far recognition. We're coming back. Platoon Dad says, oh, because he was sleeping because he's a freaking dirtbag. We're just kidding. Shout out to all my fellow Platoon Dad out there. Platoon Dads out there. Okay. Comes back. 
So the freaking uh, release point, far recognition, got it, near recognition, whether a number combination or something like that, gets into the ORP, platoon sergeant gonna physically count them back in with the medic. Again, they're not gonna say it out loud. They're gonna count as the people file through and as the PL and his leader's recon file back to the ORP. And then the platoon sergeant and the medic are gonna say five. And one of them, the medic will say four. And guess what we gotta do? Wait, hold up, sir. You lost one of my freaking dudes. Ugh. Come on, man. So that's the purpose of the choke point. You get back to the ORP, the platoon sergeant's implied task is to have all these little dudes up on a knee. That way when the PL gets in there, he can say, squad leaders, these are the final changes. Take your dudes, leave the ORP, hit the release point, and go to your spots. Does that kind of make sense? They're gonna just go. They're just gonna freaking go, right? And they're gonna have a time that they want to engage. They want all this stuff to happen at a certain time, okay? So they're gonna have like, the, it'll happen at this time. Everyone sync watches, okay? So we got like an hour or two in place or whatever, two hours two in place. Uh, excuse me. So that's, that's what's gonna happen here. Get them all up, get them all moving. Platoon Sergeant's gonna count them out. The platoon sergeant, I'm glad you asked, is gonna end up, uh, oh my God, I'm dying. The platoon sergeant and the medic, freaking doc is normally awesome. Take care of your freaking doc. Are gonna end up at the support by fire. The PL should be where the freaking metal or rubber meets the freaking road. Down here where the bullets are gonna be making it happen, right? So the PL should be down here with the assault squad leader, okay? The senior most squad leader, the weasel, will be with the platoon sergeant at the support by fire, okay? And the security squad leader is either on the assault or in one of these positions, uh, either back here, this two-man two, two -man guy, this guy, or this guy. But the security squad, him and his probably uh, two other dudes that aren't on security are probably up here on the assault line, okay? Typically is what I've seen. Or they're over here on the support by fire. It's really based off of what? Based off of Met TC. Mission, enemy, time, terrain, troops, and civilian considerations. So, wherever, wherever uh, the PL thinks the security squad and his additional two guys should go, I mean, whatever, right? You can dump them off on sport by fire. Uh, whatever, dude. Do what you want with your people, but just make sure they have a freaking task and purpose, right? All right, let's say, oh, these Alpha Bravos can also be pre-planned targets for your 60 millimeter mortars, okay? So they can fire uh freaking comanche fires this is one six fire target number alpha bravo zero zero one uh or he could say comanche fires this is comanche one six uh at my command fire alpha bravo zero zero one they'll they'll say okay got it at your command uh standing by at your command and what he's saying is they're waiting for him to say comanche fires one six fire hang it Fire, boom, okay, they're dropping the freaking rounds. Uh, mortar men, you guys are freaking weirdos, by the way. They're drop, they're hanging and banging, as they like to say, okay? So our freaking mortar men are gonna hang and bang, boom, fire, they're gonna initiate fires on the objective. We're not, if, if there's somebody we're trying to snatch and grab, if this whole raid is to freaking get in here and take, take the objective rain, so we're trying to take that energy drink from them, should we hang and bang on a direct freaking, on the, on the objective? Absolutely not, because we're going to destroy the rain. We need the rain to survive, okay? So we've initiated the machine guns start engaging, right, uh, at their first TRP. Well, in this case, their first TRP is just going to be uh, really the whole thing, but Alpha Bravo 002. The assault squad is not going to shoot at all. They're not shooting. The soldiers are just waiting. Uh, support by fire, weapon squad is going to freaking start laying some freaking hate. A mad minute. They're going to have all their 762 linked in and they're just gonna lay some freaking scunion on objective rain while the mortar men are hanging and freaking banging all day uh, i'm gonna take a drink and for a mad minute just imagine a mad minute while i take a drink yep sounds pretty freaking gnarly to me okay then it's gonna sound like this command you fires this is one six uh, fire, uh, cease, cease loading on Alpha Bravo 001. Fire, target number Alpha Bravo 003. Uh, you, you know, fire when ready, right? Just send it. So he's going to 
uh, cease firing Alpha Bravo 001, okay? And then he's going to begin firing Alpha Bravo 003 for any squirters trying to run away from Objective Rain in Minecraft. At that same time, he's going to radio shift fire left. We'll just keep it simple. Shift fire left to uh, target to TRP2, okay? Shift fire left to TRP2 for the weapon squad. They're going to shift their fires to TRP2. That way they don't kill their assaulters. And the assaulters are going to begin advancing, bounding, uh, however you see fit, right? If you got if you got buildings and you can move in around buildings, or you're going to bound, or you're going to freaking just assault and start thup, 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 doing what you need to do in Minecraft, right? So they're going to start doing all those... Uh, things that are going to occur to those uh, little, where, where's my, where is it? Where is it? How about this? Uh, they're going to freaking erase him. Old uh, Minecraft Timbo. They're going to assault through. Uh, before they get through the objective, we're going to lift fire, lift fire. Lift fire, lift fire, lift fire, lift fire confirmed. Weapon squad leader, you should be calling up your freaking expenditure report. Platoon sergeant, where you at, platoon sergeant? How about we help our weapon squad leader? So weapon squad leader, you can literally just look back if the platoon sergeant doesn't have any casualties because that's that's the platoon sergeant's primary role, right? Accountability, beans, bullets, band-aids. But weapon squad leader, this entire time, you should be calling up to the freaking patrol leader, platoon leader, your expenditure report at all times. Keep it freaking going. How, the way I looked at it as a weapon squad leader, if my platoon leader ever had to ask me how much ammo I had left, I, I should just get fired. I should get sent to S3, right? So, uh, Weasel, make sure you're sending up that expenditure report. Same thing for the mortars. Not as big of a deal, but still send it up. When, don't be hogging the net with it, right? But just let him know. When he, let him know when, if you were the boss, when, when should I let him know? Kind of help the boss, okay? Help the boss understand what's going on. Paint him a picture of the fight because the boss is controlling the entire fight, so do your small piece as leaders on the ground. Okay, where were we? We lifted fire, the assaulters get through, they establish an LOA. Obviously, these guys need to, whenever the lift fire happens, they need to cease freaking loading on Alpha Bravo 003. They establish their LOA. They get their LACE report, okay? EPW search, aid and litter. TSE, SSE, Tactical Site Exploitation, Sensitive Site Exploitation, which means we're going to freaking take your stuff. How about that? We're going to take the things that we want, that we want okay? We're gonna take, we're going to take it from you. How about that in Minecraft? We're going to do it, and then we're going to just, uh, to simplify this, then we're just going to retrograde back to the release point, but guess who's going first? The assault's going to go first, then the support by fire, then the security, okay? So remember we asked forwards when we, we, leaders recon, right? So we did our le leaders recon, ask forwards, we in place, ask backwards, and we retrograde, ass forwards. Oh, that always gets me. One method of retrograde could be red, white, and blue. Red can be assaulters going back, okay? White can be support by fire breaking down, and blue can be security breaking in. Everyone's gonna go from the release point to the ORP. The second you get into ORP, you're gonna get on your gear, get 360 security, get your ruck on, and then you're gonna, once you have accountability, you're gonna freaking bounce back to base or stand by for the boss to call us on the radio and say, how was your, uh, how was your raid? How was your, cause you're calling up, the PL is calling up the whole time. So the boss, the commander is like, oh, you had a freaking great raid, huh? Well, guess what? Follow on mission. Prepare to copy. Frago. Fragmentary order. Okay? Whew! Okay. In summary, that is how you do a freaking... Now, that, now that's a raid. If you got this far, you already know what I'm going to ask you to do. Leave a freaking steak emoji. If you got this far in the video, that means you are one of my real freaking followers. One of the OGs, if you will. Leave a steak emoji down below. That way I can track who's a freaking real homie and who's maybe skipping out on their class. If you have questions, if you have, if you look over your notes and you have questions, well, check out the Instagram, hit me up, let me know what your questions are, check out the Patreon. Um, the more you invest in me, the more I'm gonna invest in you. So if you give me $5 a month and I see your little message come through, like, can you talk to me about how the security squad, their responsibilities or something, I'll be more inclined to sit there and have a conversation than I don't, I don't have time for everybody. Does that kind of make sense? So 
if you have questions and you want, if you want, like, invest in me. If you invest in me, I'll invest in you. I can't, I can't uh, answer every single question. I wish I could. I wish I could help everybody out, but I just don't have the time of the day. I still have to work. I still have to hit the gym. I still have to edit or at least upload and film. Um, so, yeah, if you invest in me, $5 a month, uh, I'll invest in you. And I'll freaking square you away in Minecraft. Thanks for being here, guys. If you got this far, leave your steak emoji. I freaking appreciate making these videos for you guys. Um, it, is, it is my life's goal to make sure that every single patriot, good freaking American, that wants to be good at Minecraft is going to be a freaking badass Minecraft player. All right, guys. I got nothing else for you. This is going to be Trench Grenade, your average, now that's a raid, enjoyer, signing out. Cheers.